Hi Firsties, it's me, Mrs. Elkins, and I have a new book that I bought just for today, since today is the day that everyone votes for President for America. It's called Sofia Valdez, Future Press. Let's jump in and read about it. Sofia Valdez, Future Press. Sophia was a baby who got things done, helping her family before she turned one. Look at already being a leader, helping her family. She and Abuelo went out every week to help elderly friends around Blue River Creek who couldn't get out and about on their own and with no place to gather, we're stuck home alone. That is being a leader, right? Helping others. Raking the leaves, taking pets for walks, or just dropping by for a treat and a talk. Sophia Valdez did as much as she could for her family and friends and her whole neighborhood. A dreamer, a doer, a real-life go-getter. Most people like good, but Sophia liked better. Hmm, do you know any leaders like that in your classroom who just like to always do their best and help other people? Each morning, Abuelo walked soft to class. Sophie to class, I mean. They walked home again along Blue River Pass, making plans. That's being proactive, right? And beginning with the end in mind. Munching cookies, abuelo and girl, except for that Tuesday when Pup saw the squirrel. With a howl, Pup took off, racing all through the town, over, under, beneath, and around. Sophia scrambled to try to keep up with the hollering man and the bellowing Pup. Uh-oh, there's a problem. How do you think our leader, Sophia, will handle it? Up the squirrel ran to the top of the hill made of leftover junk for the local landfill. They reached the tip top of that mountain of trash, which jiggled and broke with an ear-splitting crash. Oh no, look at all that trash, yuck. I wouldn't want to crash in that. Down they all tumbled and hit with a thud on a moldy old pumpkin surrounded by mud. Ouch, cried Abuelo. He struggled to stand. A dangerous mess, he said, grasping her hand. Do you notice it's a rhyming book? The next day, Sophia walked to school solo. That means alone. But it wasn't the same without her Abuelo. This is not right, declared young Sophia, who glared at Mount Trashmore and got an idea. Is she making a plan? Yeah, look at all that awful, awful trash, right? Let's see what she does. The very next morning at half past dawn, she planted a sign at the front of the lawn. She stood back and smiled, and Pup gave a bark. Get rid of Mount Trashmore. Let's build a new park. Isn't that a better idea? Instead of a big trash mound to make a park for kids and families to enjoy? I love her idea. What a great plan. Each of her neighbors had something to say about benches and fountains and places to play. Meeting spots, gardens, a basket for bees, a rubber duck pond, and a kiosk for cheese. She drew every thought in her map of the park, which was perfectly perfect by a quarter till dark. 
Don't you love how everybody is synergizing and pitching in their ideas? And look at what a good listener. Habit number five, seek first to understand. She wants to hear what everybody has to say. She drifted to sleep in her soft, cozy bed. Then bam, she woke up when a thought smacked her head. Her heart skipped a beat as she realized each one of her neighbors had said, let me know when it's done. They all thought Sophia could build it alone. But how could one girl do so much on her own? The weight of that thought made her tender heart ache as night thunder growled and she lay wide awake. Then dawn brought a storm and the gloomy sky wept. And the heart seeks Sophia, she finally slept. What would you do if they expected you to do it all by yourself, right? She needs a better plan, don't you think? Maybe she can make it better now that she's reflected. Abuelo baked cookies when Sophie got up. He gave her a bag fill and sneaked one to pop. He blinked back a tear as he hugged his Sophia. And for courage, he whispered, Te amo, mi vida. Sophia's knees wobbled. She felt weak inside. She looked at his ankle and quite nearly cried. Though she didn't feel brave or courageous at all, Sophia Valdez went to face City Hall. Wow, that's really brave, right? When you're not sure what to do and still to go speak up. Let's see what she does. And look how little she looks going up to this big city hall. And remember, she has a plan. She wants that trash bin to become a park. But how to make it happen? The mayor's office sent her to room 401, the Blue River Creek Department of Fun, which sent her downstairs to room 302, the Office of Duck Ponds and cool things to do. To the Office of Monkeys, to the Department of Cheese, the Division of Fountains and Meetings and Bees. Then down to the basement, so musty and cramped, where all the town's papers were sorted and stamped. And that's what the clerk said, what no one else did. You can't build a new park. You're only a kid. You know, she's only a kid. She might be small, but she is mighty. I think as long as she has belief in herself, I think she can get it done. What do you think? The word smacked Sophia deep down in her heart. Her plan was kabush before it could start. I think, said Sophia, I think that law's wrong. But her second grade voice didn't sound very strong. The clerk said, clearly, it cannot be done. Do you have any questions? Sophia said, one, if you were me and I was you, and he was your grandpa, what would you do? I, well, said the clerk. Then she said nothing at all. She thought and she thought. Then she sent out a call to every employee throughout City Hall. I think we got a better plan. When I see a lot of people coming, I think of a very important habit, synergize. Now we can get it done. The entire government of Blue River Creek crammed into the office to hear Sophie speak, but her words jumbled up and her cheeks turned bright red as a dozen emotions rushed into her head. Her heart beat so loudly she thought it would crack. The crowd leaned in closer. Sophia leaned back. Then her arm brushed the edge of the old cookie sack. And that was the moment when Sophia first knew being brave means doing the thing you must do. Though her heart cracks with fear, though you're just in grade two. So even though she's in second grade, she's going to have to be brave. She took a deep breath. She looked the mayor in the eye. And though her knees wobbled, she held her head high. Sophia started talking. She spelled out her plan. 
and why it all mattered and how it began. And when she got rolling, she had lots to say about meeting spots, monkey bars, and places to play, and other ideas for things they could do to help the town elders and other folks too. She had thoughts on the library, thoughts on the zoo, and perhaps a way to combine the two. And, let's see. All right, cried the mayor. Let's go start a petition. If the town wants a new park, we'll form a commission. And so young Sophia got right to work with some help from her family and pup and the clerk. She might be small, but she is mighty. Then others joined in, not all, but a few, like Miss Lilla Greer and the kids in grade two. Look at them all coming together, asking for a part. There were hearings and surveys and taxes to figure, then bulldozers, cranes, and a blue bigger digger. They all built that part. That's how it got done with the hard work of by and for everyone. But it began with the dream of one person, just one, who laced up her shoes and led the way to help Blue River Creek get a new place to play. Now every evening till long after dark, the town comes together at Citizens Park. They all hold this truth to be self-evident. That Sophia Valdez, she could grow up to be president. Until then, Sophia, that real life go getter. That's the end of our book, right? Until then, we'll have to wait to see if one day she becomes president. Get out your read and respond notebook. I can't wait to respond to this story. I'll go get mine. Pause your tape if you need to, the video, while you get yours. Mine looks like this. So, Sophia Valdez, she was a real leader. I want you to tell me how she was a leader. What did she do to show leadership? We'll go to our next open page. Here is mine. Right past yesterday's work, where you honored your past relatives. So here's my next empty page. Find yours too. And now you will tell me how Sophia Valdez is a leader. So we'll start with her name, capital S because it's her name, O F I A, Sophia. And now we're going to say how she is a leader. Is A leader because so I have Sophia is a leader because why? Why do you think Sophia is a leader? How did she show leadership? What did she do that you thought was most important? I can't wait to see what you say. Go in and copy the sentence starter but make sure you finish it. Remember, spelling does not count. And then draw a picture showing how Sophia led. I can't wait to hear your response. Bye, Firsties.